What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys some more about Generation 9 with Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, as even though just a couple days ago we had that brand new gym leader get revealed with Iono and that brand new frog Pokemon, there's actually been some leaks about the game that we've had for a few days now, and I've wanted to talk about these for a while because there are some aspects of it that I feel like are a little bit kind of disappointing with kind of how the game might be. And so I want to talk about it and give you guys my thoughts and then you guys can let me know how you feel about everything down below in the comments as well. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am partnered with Best Buy now and so there will be links below in the description and the pinned comment to Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet and even the double pack. If you click those links and then pre-order from there, you can really support me and help out the channel a lot so I would really appreciate it. And Best Buy is awesome because they'll actually give you free shipping and send the game right to your house day one. So if you want to play the games the day that they're available and have them delivered right to your doorstep, then definitely consider pre-ordering from the links below in the description or the pinned comment. I would really appreciate it. And these games are looking pretty cool, so I know a lot of you guys definitely want them. Alright, so here we are on Twitter where all the leaks are happening. And the first thing that it says right here is the two mice are a single Pokemon. So you guys might remember that trailer that we had a couple of days ago where a bunch of Pokemon were shown on the minimap. And inside of those Pokemon, we got to see these two mouse Pokemon. And a lot of people were wondering if they were going to be like one mouse Pokemon and there was just two of them that were on that map. But it seems like now that there's actually going to be two mice Pokemon together that count as the Pokemon themselves. So it's kind of going to be like Magneton where it's three Magnemites together that make up that Pokemon or like Phalanx where there's like multiple of them so when you do battle these Pokemon you're always going to see the two mice with each other so that is pretty cool because you don't really get a bunch of Pokemon designs like this and I'm kind of wondering how exactly they're going to function if they have like a cool ability or something where maybe like one mouse attacks and then the other one attacks also or something it could be pretty cool so I think it'll be interesting to see and I wonder if the design is going to be like different for each mouse too or if it's going to be like they're twinning with each other where they both look the exact same it does seem like that there is going to be a little difference if we take a look at the tail here because like this one seems to be a little bit longer and then this one isn't as long so maybe there's going to be some type of difference there but either way i am excited to see what this pokemon is and what typing it's going to be too i feel like just looking at the color scheme is probably just going to be normal type but maybe it could be like ice or something along those lines also all right, but now we're going to get into the stuff that's going to have a couple of mixed reactions. So the first thing that we have here is that it says, in case some people have forgotten, the Pokemon picnic will be the only way to get eggs. Now, if you've been keeping up with the leaks for this game, and if you saw like the recent trailers that we've gotten for the game, then you know that the way that we can get eggs now inside of Generation 9 uh, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is through the Pokemon picnic uh, gameplay feature where you're basically going to be able to like play with your Pokemon and pet them and all of that and there's going to be like some picnic basket where you can find eggs inside of there but it seems like now that this is going to be the only way that you're going to be able to do breeding inside of this generation and according to the leaks about it like people were talking like it's going to have like incubators and stuff and that eggs are going to hatch after a set amount of time so I've definitely seen a lot of mixed reactions about this and some people saying that this is a step back that this isn't really the right way to do it and that we should have just had like the traditional method of doing it so there's not going to be like any type of daycare so I am kind of wondering now to see exactly how this is going to work I, like I feel like for this in particular I need to kind of see how it exactly functions before I can give you my thoughts on if this is the right thing to do or if it's not that good I feel like the way that the incubators work it seems like it's cool because if you could have it like kind of still count time even if the game is closed and stuff where you could like put a whole bunch of eggs in incubators and then like turn off your game and come back in like two hours and they're all hatched that would be pretty cool but I hope that there's also a way for you to still be able to hatch eggs just normally by biking around or just running around in the world and having a Pokemon with like flame body inside of your party because those have always helped to be able to hatch eggs pretty fast and especially for like shiny hunters that's like a big aspect for them where that's pretty much all they do on stream is like they just run around back and forth getting eggs and hoping to hatch a shiny Pokemon. If it's all going to be like automated now or it's going to be a part of these incubators and running around and walking around really doesn't do anything and it's all going to be time based like what these leaks are saying. I don't know how people are going to feel about it because right now I would say that it isn't that bad to being able to hatch a whole bunch of Pokemon like you can get a good amount of Pokemon in a decent amount of time if you're just caring about like hatching and trying to get perfect IVs and stuff. But like depending on how many incubators you get and if each one is hatching individually and stuff, it might not really be the best type of decision. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see kind of really exactly all the features of this and how it does work. 
All right, but now we're gonna move into the stuff that people have mixed reactions on. So the first thing down here though, is that it just says here that like in Pokemon Black and White 2, each gym leader is gonna have its own gym music. So this is actually something that I'm actually very happy about. This is really cool because inside of Pokemon Black and White 2, every single gym that you walked into had its own rendition of the gym theme. And it was really, really cool to kind of hear that for each and every gym. Like I always loved Elisa's because it was always just her singing like this. So I am excited to see that that feature is going to be returning inside of these games. But now in terms of the stuff that I've seen a lot of mixed opinions about, it says right here that the leaker insists that the third legendary will be teased in the game somehow, but it's being saved for future DLC. So yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly how I feel about this. The thing that's so weird about this, I mean, we even have an image right here. I don't know what this image is supposed to mean, but it seems like that the third like main legendary for this generation is not actually going to be in the base game itself, and it's actually going to be saved for the DLC. Now, I've seen a lot of mixed reactions about this i don't know exactly how to feel about it because on one hand i do feel like it's a little bit kind of sad that we're not going to be able to get the third legendary or like the main third legendary inside of these games uh, presumably if we're going by this leak and pretty much a lot of the stuff that these people do say ends up being true so more than likely i guess the third legendary is just not going to be inside of these games at least day one and you're probably gonna have to pay like a 30 dollar expansion pass fee in order to get them inside of the dlc so i don't know how i feel about this because ever since like the third main legendaries were introduced since like generation three they've always been in every single brand new generation like you could always find the third legendary pokemon and capture them Inside of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you could go and find Rayquaza. Inside of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, you could find Garatina. In Pokemon Black and White, you could find Kiram. Inside of Pokemon X and Y, you could find Zygarde. And then in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you could find Necrozma. And of course, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you had Eternatus. So I guess this is really going to be the first ever like new generation since then, where you're just not going to be able to capture the main third legendary uh, in terms of your game day one. Like, you're just going to have to wait till that DLC comes out. So... I don't know exactly how I feel about this. I mean, on one hand, I do think that it is going to be kind of maybe a little bit cooler because maybe they could actually spend some more time to make it some type of cool story and lore around that Pokemon and actually have it make sense because let's be real here, a lot of times those third legendaries are kind of just sitting there in caves and you just go and capture them. So if this means now that they're actually going to have like a cool role and story, that could be cool. But I don't know. I just feel a little bit sad that we're not going to be able to have like the main third legendary be able to be found in the game day one, considering it's something that we've pretty much always been able to do for so many years now. But yeah, there you go guys. That is pretty much all the new information that we have right now about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. How do you guys feel about these decisions in terms of how the breeding mechanic is going to work inside of these games and how Pokemon Picnic is only going to be the way that you're going to have to being able to get eggs? And how do you feel about the possibility that there probably isn't going to be the main third legendary inside of these games and that you're probably going to have to pay for the DLC if you want to catch them? I've seen a lot of different takes about it, so definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about that as well. If you're new to this channel, then please be be sure to subscribe i'm definitely gonna have some more pokemon content in the future so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad go follow me on twitter at actual arrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my discord server as well we've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about pokemon and smash bros and nintendo so definitely be sure to join that and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching